Hi everybody. How y'all doing? Welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It is me, Yansa. Okay, everybody. This is going to be an all signs love reading. And I might be eating ice cream here and there. Okay, so we're going to do Aries to Pisces. This will be March 2022. I was going to do individual love readings for all y'all. Um, I don't feel like doing it right now, so it's going to be an all signs. And yeah. Holy Spirit, Holy Angel, please protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Close my doors to no negativity. I'm the ones I'm trying to find a welcome here. Ancestors and guys, protect me. Please orchestrate this reading. Please give me clear, honest messages for the zodiac signs for their love reading. Thank you, universe. I say. All right, we're going to do Aries to Pisces. I love cookies and cream ice cream. Aries, <laughs> what's going on in your love life? The Queen of Cups, she could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This person could be at a distance from you, but it's because they're working on things. They're working on themselves. Seven of Pentacles, wanting to take the time out and invest. This person wants to go the distance with you. We got the King of Cups. This is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. They are in love with you. This person, they take their time. They're patient. This is how you'll know who they are. They have a lot of dreams, and they, they try to do every single last one of them. They take the time out to take care of you, take care of themselves, take care of their business, all of that. It could be a Taurus or a Libra. They want a high level of commitment with you. This person is like, I'm going to do what it takes. This person will do what it takes to make themselves happy and make you happy too. Could be a Leo, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, or Libra, or um, Sagittarius with the Temperance and the Judgment. They're um, they're choosing you. They're deciding on you. I see love. You had a, a divine pair, a connection, the King and Queen of Cups. So let it happen, Aries. Moving on to Taurus. What's going on in your love life? Taurus, remember these are general. Only take the messages that resonate. Flip flop the roles, reverse them. Could have already happened, could be happening now, could happen in the near future. Y'all don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You got the sun card coming out. We got the ten of swords at the bottom of the deck and ending. And some of you may have lost something, someone, maybe a child. We do have the Two of Cups. We have a lot of Tens. The Ten of Wands right here. And the Devil card. Could we dealing with the Capricorn? With the Ten of Cups. Ten of Swords, Ten of Wands, Ten of Cups. Endings. Endings. Completing cycles. It's complete. These things are just completing. Nothing will be the same. You're not even dating the same type of people. You're not attracted to the same type of people. You're not surrounded with the same circle. None of that. Eight of Pentacles. You're working on yourself, loving yourself. And today's a new day by Kirk Franklin. But where's my sunshine? Where's the love and the joy that you promised me? It's coming. You're really working on yourself. Today's a new day. I don't do the things I used to do. I don't say the things I used to say. And it's with your partner. Like, I'm not for that bullshit that I was on. I don't even know why I was even on that bullshit. Okay. We have the Empress right here. And then we got the King of Wands with the Lovers. You got your mojo back and the Judgment. But here's the Queen of Wands right here. You have a Divine match coming out as well. And you're like, man, if, if y'all not on what I'm on, y'all not for me. I'm not fucking with that. Just a lot of endings, a lot of realizations, a lot of forward movement. And I see like your emotions, are, you're on an emotional roller coaster, but it's because you're going up. Who said that? I love this lady, Enchanted Cottage. She is the bomb, and she did this for Leos. You could have Leo in your chart. Yeah, the Sun card did come out. I see a Divine Match, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. So this person matches your passion. They match your um, enthusiasm. They match your vitality. They, they're a go-getter as well. They will do what they need to do for themselves as well. They don't need anybody um, on their ass about doing some shit. They're going to do it themselves so i like this um who is that taurus gemini we got the six of swords coming out 
All right, that's your energy. What's going on in your love life, Gemini? This is your love reading for March. We got the Six of Swords. Love me some ice cream. Just love me too, y'all. Love me, y'all. All right, what's going on for Gemini? You have a decision to make. Where are you going? Where are you headed? What's, what choice are you going to make? Two of Wands, Six of Swords. You're thinking a lot about this. Nine of Pentacles. It's all for... I hear it's all for your beauty. <laughs> it's all for your goals, your success, your aspirations. Aspirations, Six of Wands. So it's like... Is this going to put me on the trajectory to be famous, to have my goals met, to have the money I want, to look this certain way, to live this lifestyle? Am I on the right path to doing it? Could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, another air sign, Sun, Moon, Rising, of Venus. What's going on? Could be dealing with another Gemini with the lovers right here. Clarify the lovers. Judgment, Seven of Wands, Empress, Justice, the Chariot, the High Priestess, a lot of majors. So I see a very important person, a very important decision coming into your life after some disappointment. Five of Pentacles. Clarify the Five of Pentacles. The King of Cups, the Cancer Pisces or Scorpio may have disappointed you. I need to watch this a little later. Have y'all seen Wheel of Time? I like it a lot. Four of Wands. With your stability. What is this? King of Swords. Two Kings. King of Cups. King of Swords. What is this telling me? The Nine of Swords. Um... Somebody's giving you bad advice, Gemini. Here's your energy again with the Magician and the Wheel of Fortune. We got the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Swords. Yeah, see through whatever, see through some type of illusion. I hear somebody's trying to like throw curveballs at you or this is spirit, like kind of testing you. That's basically what I see. Testing you on, excuse me, on your journey to move forward. Yeah, but ask about your love life. What the hell was that? Gemini. Ten of Wands, your love life is very hard and stressful right now. Four of Swords, you need some rest. You want to plan on how to move forward and make your love life not be so hard. It's because you don't have enough or your person doesn't have enough time, enough money, enough anything like that. We have the Emperor right here. Could be dealing with an Aries. With the Ten of Swords, there was an ending. Just a lot of Tens. Who had that Taurus had a lot of endings as well. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Ten of Cups right here. Yeah, all the Tens are out. The star could be dealing with an Aquarius. So I see Aries, Aquarius, the emperor and the star. Two of swords. So I see um, a growth process, a transformation process. You and your person, if y'all didn't break up, y'all might be breaking up because somebody, um, somebody is going through a dark night of the soul. That's what I see. That's all I see. Yeah, eight of swords. They have some things on the inside of them that they need to heal from and fix. Y'all won't be together until they do. At least not on the level you want or not on the level they want. Cancer. What's going on in your love life? What is going on? All these damn cards coming out. Cancer. All right. Cancer. Cancer. The five of wands already jumping out, arguing, fighting, confusion, miscommunication. King of wands, it's this fire sign doing this. This Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, they're trying to confuse you, trying to argue with you, or oh, it's a player. Hmm. Why are they trying to do this, Cancer? Hmm. Why are they doing this shit? Who is this? King of Cups. 
They're gay. Maybe you're a man in a same sex relationship or a woman in a same sex relationship. But I somebody caught this person. I'm just gonna tell you the story I get. It may be crazy than a bitch, but just go with it, okay? So, um, your person is lying to you about their sexuality. You don't even have to be with them. They could be your friend, brother, sister, whoever. Somebody's lying to you about their sexuality, but deep down you kinda know, like, nah, this this they gay. You like men. You don't even like women. Or you like women. You don't even like men. Or you like this. Or you don't even like that. I don't fucking know, y'all. It's the source judgment. Somebody's coming in to tell the truth about something. Yeah, the three of cups. This So in your love life, somebody want, basically just wants to do a threesome. We got the knight of wands and the empress. Yeah. Three dudes want this one lady. Five of Cups, Queen of Pentacles. And you're just like, no, because I feel like, so in your love life, and this may have already happened, could be happening now, could happen in the near future. It could be a lesson that you went through. I don't know what type of lesson that was, but there have been, you've been, in, you may have been in relationships with people who maybe you found out they were gay or maybe you found out they were bisexual or maybe you found out they like skinny girls and you're a big girl maybe you found out they like light-skinned women when you're a dark-skinned woman or maybe you found out this person actually likes bald men and you have dreads and they don't like you or just appearance type things the people you've been with they would either lie or cheat with other people that don't look nothing like you that don't talk nothing like you that have nothing that you have so you're thinking in your mind they must prefer that they must prefer them they must prefer the way they look they must prefer what they have and you start having low self-esteem because you're thinking that this person prefers that over you The Queen of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. The Queen of Pentacles does not feel like does not feel like she's worthy. Does not feel her self worth. Or King of Pentacles does not feel worthy. Does not feel the, their self worth. This person knocked your self esteem, but this has nothing to do with you. This is them. They the fucked up person, not you. They the liar. They the cheater. Like they've been gaslighting you. There's nothing wrong with you. There's nothing wrong with you. Who are we on? Gemini? Ain't shit wrong with you. Like, at all. You are the Empress. There's nothing wrong with the Empress. Everybody wants to be with the Empress. This person has some type of weird complex to where if they feel inferior, if they feel like you're better than them, they'll do things to make you feel bad about yourself. I don't like this person. Who is this person and what's the indicator? How can Gemini spare themselves if they haven't went through this already? Five of Pentacles, build your self-worth. You, you got to build your self-worth. You got to. And don't put your self-worth in somebody else's hands. The Knight of Wands. Don't put all of your love, time, and attention and efforts into an in-and-out person who doesn't fulfill you. You, mm -mm. you just can't do that no more. Have your high boundaries, high standards. No, your standards are not too high. All right, Cancer. Cancer, what's going on in your love life? This is your love reading. Can we did Cancer already. This is Leo. Did I skip Gemini? Oh, well, come on, Leo. I definitely did Cancer already. That was Cancer, y'all, my bad. I think it's the ice cream distracting me. I'm gonna keep eating it though. <laughs> Leo, what's going on in your love life, Leo? Spirit, what messages do you have for Leo? I saw the king and the queen of wands. Leo, here's the queen of wands. I just said it, I just said it. I seen the king and the queen of wands. Where'd he go? 
If you come out again, y'all gonna be in for it. What's going on with Leo? Six of Wands, victory, you're beautiful. You the shit, you walk the walk and you talk the talk. People want you. Eight of Wands, yes, people want you. They wanna talk to you. This is a lot of fire. Six of Wands, Queen of Wands, Eight of Wands. A lot of communication, a lot of fire, a lot of passion, possibly a lot of sex, okay? What's going on? People want them draws, Leo, just saying. High Priestess, yeah, they want the draws. Clarify the high priestess. Use your intuition because some people probably do just want the draws and want to go. Ten of Wands. They're going to put the work in, though. Damn, I got to have Leo. Somebody going to put the pressure on you. Could be a Pisces. So we have a lot of Wands. Ten of Wands, Queen of Wands, Six of Wands, Eight of Wands. A lot of Wands. Ten of Swords. What happened? We got two Tens here. Clarify the Ten of Wands and the Ten of Swords. Ooh, the Ace of Cups. What happened? Do somebody want to heal? Like, what happened? Where did this come from? Somebody has been killing themselves trying to be with you. Not literally killing themselves, but damn. Somebody, like, wants to be with you so bad it hurts. It hurts, Leo. What is this? The sun could be another Leo. Yeah, you're all this person thinks about. Nine of cups, nine of swords. You're all this person thinks about. This person wants you so bad it hurts. I don't know if this is a new person or an old person. Three of pentacles. They want to work with you, collaborate with you, talk with you. They, they just want you so bad. Star, they want you. Six of cups and then the fool. This person will take a leap of faith on you. They want you. This person will probably come up to come to your house. You might meet this person out the blue somewhere. Um, they might call you. We have the lovers, the fool, and the six of cups. This could be someone from the past. It could be a soulmate, someone you have memories with, someone you have children with. But this person loves you. They want to be with you. All they see is you. Six of wands, queen of wands, eight of wands. That's all they see is you. All they feel is you. All they breathe is you. They dream about you. Like, this person probably tries to talk to you through, like, through astral projection and um, through music and all types of shit. Justice could be a Libra. Two of Cups, Ten of Pentacles. I think we have almost all the Tens out. Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords, Ten of Pentacles. We just need the Ten of Cups. Where's the Ten of Cups? Show me it's real. Show me it's real. Ace of Wands, the Empress, and the Knight of Cups. That's pretty good. Yeah, this person definitely wants to be with you. Page of Cups. They said, I'm trying. I'm trying to give you the Ten of Cups. Queen of Cups. They trying to give you this Ten of Cups. They are. They are. They really are. I like this person. I like them a lot. I said, show me the Ten of Cups. Show me it's real. They coming out with all the cups. Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. All of that. Two of Cups, Knight of Cups. Did I see the Two of Cups? Yeah. They said, I'm trying. Three of Cups. I'm trying, Leo. I'm trying. <laughs> I like this person. This person will try to build up to get to that Ten of Cups with you. They will. All, the, all of the beautiful cups are out. All of them. I like this person, Leo. Three of Cups, Knight of Cups. We got the Three of Cups. They want to love on you, laugh with you, communicate with you, have fun with you, go out with you, take you out on dates with the Knight of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups. This person is emotionally mature, has a lot of love. We got the Page of Cups. This person still gets shy around you. They love you. They see longevity with you. So Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, Page of Cups, Six of Cups. They want to have memories with you. This could be a soulmate. Could be a water sign. We have the two of cups and the ace of cups right here. They trying, Leo. They trying to build up to get to that ten of cups with you. They are. I like this person. They're trying to manifest it with the magician. Them. 
I like this person, Leo. I like this person a lot. All right. It might take some time with the temperance card. They could be a Sagittarius, but I like this person. They want long, they want it all with you. The um ace of pentacles. I like them. I don't know if this is somebody from the past, but this is this person will try to build that emotional bond with you. They're gonna try to be there for you emotionally in the long run. It took some time. We had all the cups come out first. So this person is could be a big planner. This person asks, will you be patient with me? You don't wait, you don't have to wait on this person. You can live your life, Leon. And when this person get ready to, they will show you the Ten of Cups. I like this person. You will too, Leo. You will too. Come on, Virgo. Virgo. All right, this is your love reading, Virgo. What the spirit have for you? The Knight of Swords. What do you want to say? What does this person want to say? King of Wands. Hey, I like you. Judgment. I like you a lot. Six of Swords. Do you have air in your chart? Clarify the Knight of Swords. Five of Cups, the Magician. Will you forgive me? Clarify the King of Wands. Queen of Swords. No. No. We got the Six of Cups. Knight of Wands. Will you forgive me? No, you're the same. I don't trust you. I don't believe you. Clarify Judgment. Two of Pentacles. I don't know. I don't think I I don't think I can. Um it, too much has been done with the devil card. Too much has been said, too much has been done. Clarify the six of swords. Page of wands, but I still want you. I know you still want me. I know you do. The moon. I know you do. It's the cancer, the moon and the chariot. Clarify the six of swords and the page of wands. Five of wands, eight of cups. No, I don't. Even if I did still want you, I won't show you. I, I won't forgive you. I don't want to talk to you right now. Why is yours a whole dialogue, Virgo? King of Pentacles, no. Go talk to so and so. Go go back to work. Work was more work was so if work was so important to you, then go back there. Why are you here? Why are you why are you calling me? Why are you texting me? Five of Pentacles, I miss you. I love you. What do you mean? I miss you. I love you. You know that. I hear you know that. You know I miss you. You know I love you. No, you don't. That's what I hear. No, you don't. Why do you wait so long to tell me? All you did was sabotage this. All you did was hurt me. All you did was try to fight against me. Now I'm holding back against you. Could be done with the Leo with the strip card. I hear um that song by um Life Jennings, when he's like, basically singing Never Never Land. Um, I'm hearing both of Life Jennings songs. He has more songs than this, but it's like Never Never Land. Just like Peter Pan, nobody wants to grow old. This this man is, in a, this, this man really acts like a child, or this woman really acts like a child. They don't want to grow up. But I also hear that other song, um, Must Be Nice. Um, when someone who understands basically like it must be nice to have all of these beautiful things and wonderful things with this woman let's be grown we grown now like cherish the, this person that you have don't don't push them away don't hurt them seven of swords just deceitful lying eight of swords stuck in your head two of pentacles so I feel like, Virgo, you might need to be honest with yourself. Do you have split personalities? Does this person have split personalities? Ask yourself, why do you always sabotage? It's because you were taught to be this way. You were. There's some toxic masculinity right here. The devil and the um, 
the emperor. I'm not bashing you men, but that's just the cards that came out. It could be a toxic feminine femininity. This is not this is not how the man is supposed to show up and represent themselves. Or this is not how the woman is supposed to show up and represent themselves. But this is what you've been doing. Time to just make peace with some things. Fix some things. Rearrange some things. Like you. I don't understand. Like I just hear this person. Like how could you expect me to still love you? How could you. How, how could you expect me. To still have feelings for you. You never showed me you have feelings for me. You never showed me that you wanted me. You were never never there for me emotionally. So I just get maybe like a blame game. Because Virgo is like, I shouldn't have to say it. You should already know. But this person is like, how can I know when you're never around? Libra. Yes, Libra, come through with the good energy. <laughs> the fool and the ace of wands. So I do see a new beginning, a positive leap of faith forward. Libra, you could be dealing with an Aries or a Pisces. Mm. My brother bought me the good ice cream. It got all the cookies in it. Mm. It's going to just be a bonus, y'all. We're going to sit and talk and eat ice cream. Mm. All right, Libra. I bet y'all going to be like, put that fucking ice cream down. I wasn't thinking. I got my brother to bring me some ice cream. And then I was like, hmm, I'm already sitting in this chair. I might as well do readings too. All right, Libra. Come through with the big, big energy. Strength in the death card. Clarify the fool. Travel a leap of faith. Knight of Pentacles, taking your time. You invested in this. You planned this. Ten of Pentacles. This is a lucrative opportunity. Clarify death for Libra. Two of Wands, a decision. Clarify strength for Libra. The devil and the queen of pentacles. It could just be a Capricorn. It's saying, don't let this money get the best of you. Don't let this stability or toxicity or codependency get the best of you, Libra. You're on a great path, especially with this person, Knight of Cups. Ten of Swords. We have two tens, Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Ten of Wands coming out right here. I see a lot of growth, transformation, endings of cycles as well with, within your relationship, Libra. We got the star. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Capricorn, Leo, Aries, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini with the lovers. This person is an important person in your life. King of Swords. I hear make the best decision. Ace of Swords. Make a good decision this time, this time, this time, this time, this time. What about this time, Libra? What are you going to do differently this time? Three of Cups. Get to know this person first. I do see that this person is going to be a key factor in your life. We have all these majors coming out. Very exciting. This person is fun. They love life. Full of life. We got the King and Queen of Wands. You have... A divine match as well, Libra. Come on, Scorpio. Page of Wands could be dealing with an Aries Leo Sag, could be hearing good news. Ten of Pentacles about some money, stability. Someone wants to grow with you. A high level of commitment could be dealing with a Gemini with a magician. You and this person manifest money together. So this could be a business partner and a lover with the Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, this person definitely knows how to grow, make money out, out of money, make money out of nothing, make more money off on top of their money. Could be dealing with a Scorpio with the tower and the six of swords. We got the lovers right here. Clarify the six of swords. Where are you going? What are you doing? What are you thinking? What are you saying? The world. You want to travel. 
Ending of a cycle, starting something new. The Emperor, beautiful energy. We got the Queen of Cups, King of Wands, Kings, Queens, Emperors. Okay, higher levels of commitment with the full card. I hear you're moving. You're going to you're going to be surrounded by just a bunch of like adults. You're going to be living an adult life. No more drama when it comes to relationships and dating. If you're single and you're friends with benefits, okay, we're friends with benefits. No more drama. You don't have to lie to me. I I'm, I'm going to try to get what I want, so you don't even have to do any of that extra bullshit. You don't got to play mind games with me. You don't have to do any of that shit. Two of Pentacles. Clarify the Two of Pentacles. It could be a Capricorn. Five of Wands. Oh, shit. Somebody doesn't like your maturity. We got the Queen of Wands. They don't like how mature you are. The King and Queen of Wands came out for you as well. A divine match. Y'all is having sex. But I see the person that you prefer, all these other people around you don't like that. They want you to prefer them as well. Because you're showing up as the Emperor. Yeah, we got the chariot and the wheel of fortune. A lot of good luck, favor, fortune just follows you. People would people would kill to be with you. Who is this? Scorpio? Damn. Spirit is funny. Spirit tells some of the darkest jokes that I be hearing in my mind. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh gosh. Hey, they might be doing it. But um all right, Scorpio. Come we're moving on to Sagittarius. Hold on. There we go. Sag, let's go. What's going on in your love life? Everybody's been getting the king and queen of wands. Everybody's meeting, they match. Especially when it comes to sex and passion and creativity, entrepreneurship, go-getters, Sagittarius. We got the will of fortune, beautiful energy moving forward. Here you are at the bottom of the deck with the temperance. You're in your element. You feel like you. You feel like yourself. Ten of Pentacles, abundant, prosperous overall. What's this five of swords about? I'm going to do what I need to do. You can't come in between me and my passions. No more. We got the King of Pentacles coming out. Big Daddy. Big Mama in the building. Page of Cups. A visionary. What's going on in your love life? Judgment. You have made the decision. You've made the decision. If you're going to be in a relationship with someone, it's not going to be off of just love alone. It's just not. You and your, you've and you met somebody who is like, yeah, you're right. It ain't going to be just off love alone. What are we doing? What we got going on here? Six of Cups. There is a lot of love, though. So if y'all have kids, which I see you will, it's going to be very, um, it's going to be enough money. We got the devil card coming out fixated with this person fixated with your money nine of pentacles we have the nine and ten of pentacles clarify the devil the lovers you trying not to base it off of love and passion alone but you are obsessed with this person this person is obsessed with you but the good thing is you do have a lot of love and you have the stability to back it up you guys are a fool for each other with the full card the nine of cups complete wish fulfillment and you know this you both know this. You recognize each other in that way. High levels of commitment with the Taurus or a Libra. You're trying to take it slow with this person. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. Could be done with the Sagittarius, Scorpio, Capricorn, Taurus, Libra, Gemini, Aries, Leo, Sag. Beautiful energy. All right, Capricorn. Capricorn, this is your love reading. What is going on in your love life? Capricorn. All right, Capricorn. Taking a leap of faith. You got the full card as well. Could be dealing with the Virgo. So maybe you are shut in. One minute you want to get out. The next minute you want to shut back in with the death card. We have the Empress right here. So out of, I've already pulled four majors for you. Clarify the fool, the sleep of faith, or this Aries or Pisces. 
Two of Cups. You're in love with him. Clarify the Hermit. This Virgo. Clarify the Hermit. Nine of Wands. You don't trust them. Clarify Death. This Scorpio. You want to work on it, though. Clarify the Empress. This Taurus or this Libra. You got a lot of a lot of sexual chemistry towards this person, but you feel like they have other people. So you're trying to keep your options open as well. Clarify the Queen of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Ten of Wands, you feel like, oh, I hear that song by Drake when he's like, is anything I'm doing brand new? Brand new. Like, because I feel like you think this person is just so experienced. You think this person has just um, experienced so much life, dated so many people. Um, this person could have possibly already been married, could already have kids. They could already know the game when it comes to relationships. They could all... They could already, you know, like had done this before with another person. So I hear, I hear this person um, has already been in a seven year relationship, has already been in a 10 year relationship, nine year relationship, eight year relationship. I don't know. It's been, it's a, it's been a long time. This person has been in a long relationship. You may not have. So maybe you may be feeling a little self-conscious. Queen of Pentacles, don't worry about it. This person likes you. The Emperor and the Empress, don't worry about it. The Emperor and the Empress, the, a divine union. I just see, like, if you're worried about some little chicken heads, this is the past. I don't see your person even wanting them at all. Here you are, Capricorn, right here. Clarify the Devil card. The magician and the two of pentacles you're manifesting two streams of income it's just like i'm not even worried about all this extra shit um but your per you and your person are like hey i like you you like me i'm not judging you because just because i've been in a longer relationship than you i i'm experienced i know what i'm doing now it could just be intimidating for the other person. Come on, Aquarius. Whatever, Capricorn. <laughs> Come on, Aquarius. 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 Queen of Pentacles. I just seen the King of Pentacles. I'm pulling them out right here. Divine Union, Divine Match. Aquarius, you're the only one who got a divine match that wasn't the king and queen of wands. The king and queen of wands is some... I, if it's going to be a match, a divine match, I'd rather it be the king and queen of cups or the king and queen of pentacles. We have love right here at the bottom of the deck. What are you worried about? What are you stressed about? You're fixated on this person. You can't stop thinking about them. You're wondering how the relationship is going to work out. So you're trying to take your time, seven of pentacles. How do I take my time right here? I don't want you to get tired of me. We got the Empress card. This person will never get tired of you. Four of Wands. They want to move in. They want to get married. They want to be in a long, stable relationship with you. Queen of Wands right here. They think you're sexy. You're beautiful. Knight of Swords. Ten of Wands. This, sometimes the shit that this person says, they kind of put their foot in their mouth. Page of Pentacles. And then they always have to apologize. Like, fuck, why did I say that? The magician could be dealing with the Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Aquarius. Five of Wands. What's getting between you and your person? Seven of Wands. I'm sorry. Five of Wands, Six of Wands. You guys can move past this. The Emperor at the bottom of the deck. So you have the King and Queen of Pentacles, then you have the Emperor and the Empress. This is a divine union, a divine match. I just get that sometimes this person just says stupid ass things. I don't know why they do that. Or sometimes this person does stupid ass things. I don't know why they do that either. But you got to remember, nobody's nobody's perfect. Yes, this is your person, but nobody's perfect. It's all about what you're willing to deal with, what you're willing to, you know, not settle for. But people... People have things about them. You have things about you too. I don't see I don't see it being that bad to break up or not be together. The Emperor and the Empress and the King and Queen of Pentacles. Like, yeah, sometimes this person may put their foot in their mouth, but y'all could work through it. Okay. And then look, the King of Wands just flipped out right here. And then we got the Queen of Wands. 
the sex is good the money is the money is good the stability is good you the only one who you and who else i think it was like taurus or gemini who had all these pairs coming out shout out to all the pairs whoops where the queen of wands said i'm out of here what's going on so I see you could be surrounded with your, all of your friends could be married as well. And sometimes you get in competitions with your friends who are married. Like who's, who's the better power couple and shit like that. <laughs> this is beautiful energy. Stop stressing. If you're single, here it comes. Be happy and content with your loving yourself. All right. Who the fuck was that, Aquarius? Come on, last but not least, Pisces. My beautiful, wonderful, awesome Pisces. What's going on in your love life? This is your love reading for March 2022. King of Cups, beautiful energy. This is your energy right here. Five of Swords, what's going on? I hear sometimes your emotions get the best of you, Page of Swords, and sometimes you can be a little um, immature. Four of Swords, and you're like, hold on, Pisces, calm down. This shit may not even be as serious as you making it seem. It may not even be, you know, this story may not even be real. Am I making this up in my head? The Hangman, here's your energy again, Pisces. Four of Pentacles, what are you holding back from? You have a big emotions for someone, and you're holding back. It could be an Aquarius. You like them a lot with the Knight of Cups and the High Priestess. More of you, more of you. So in this relationship, you're going to have to show more of yourself. You're going to have to speak up. You're going to have to take the lead, take charge. This person isn't the only person in the relationship. You're in a relationship as well. We have the lovers. So what you say matters as well. This person wants to see more strength. Also more vulnerability with the star. This person is getting you out of your comfort zone, getting you out of your shell. The magician could be dealing with the Gemini. We got the lovers and the magician. We got the nine of pentacles and the ten of pentacles. Beautiful energy. This person is single, page of cups. They want to go on a date. Seven of wands, two of wands. What's stopping you? You're scared. There's, you're scared. You can't be the same shy, introverted person no more. This person likes to have fun. This person likes to talk. They like to flirt. They like to be sensual and sexual. They like kissing on you. They like touching on you. They like asking you how you're feeling. They like asking you how your day was. Okay? They like to get to know you. They want to They want to open you up, basically. I like this person, Pisces. And they like you, too. Two of Cups. Could be a Sagittarius. Take a leap with this person. I hear, let your hair down. Be you, Pisces. Don't be afraid to show this person who you really are. We got the Fool, Temperance, Two of Cups, and the Chariot. Could be done with the Sagittarius, Cancer, Leo, Gemini, Aries, Aquarius, another Pisces. This is all I have for you guys. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. I love you guys so much. I know I was eating ice cream throughout the video. Sorry, but... I like ice cream, not sorry. We got through it in a really good amount of time, only 43 something minutes, 44. But I love you guys. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment, leave me a love donation. You can book a personal reading with me. Follow me on my social media. And until I see you guys again, check out all your other readings. And let me know what other type of reading you'd like to see. I love y'all, bye.